Just as water is moving along the stream bed, it's also moving downward into the soil material below it. There's a relationship between water movement through soils and soil condition. This is particularly true with respect to whether soil pores are open to free water or not. On the left, the soil void is held open by the sand to the soil surface. Such voids can be created by decayed vegetational root channels, wormholes, cracks, and seams. As water initially rushes in to fill the void, the rate of water movement depends primarily on gravity. Once the void is filled, pressure created by ponded water speeds water movement to small pores. For example, residue management creates numerous voids open to the soil surface, resulting in improved water infiltration. The void on the right is not open to free water, so water moves primarily by capillary action around the void. When a root channel open to free water becomes partially blocked by soil particles, water will not flow freely into the channel. Soil particles may be moved by tillage, water, wind, or other soil stirring action. Water movement is due primarily to capillary forces until the soil becomes saturated. On the left side of this model, organic matter is exposed to the soil surface. On the right, organic matter has been buried by tillage. When organic matter is mixed with the surface soil and exposed to free water, water moves easily into the soil. Minimum tillage maintains organic matter near the soil surface. When organic matter is used to keep soil pores open to the surface, downward water movement can be greatly enhanced. For example, the right side of this model shows organic matter buried under the surface of the soil. Under these conditions, the organic matter restricts the downward flow of water. 